Before I continue on with covering this, I'm going to drill this hole here. Why am I going to drill this hole here right now? You know what? I'm not going to drill this hole right here right now. The centerboard is filled with lead. It's shaped. And now I have to put some fiberglass on it. So there needs to be two layers of fiberglass on each side. Well, I got my two bits of fiberglass sitting here. And uh, according to my brief uh, research on the internet, if you're doing two layers of fiberglass, you should not let it cure in between when you put the first layer on and the second layer on. So when you put all the layers that you're going to do on at once, then it uh, forms one homogeneous unit. Um, all the epoxy is just sort of like one. Whereas if you let it cure, it's sort of like one layer of epoxy and then another layer of epoxy stuck on, which is okay, but it's not as good as it all being just sort of one homogeneous lump of epoxy. Mm, it's looking pretty nice. Hopefully that fills up any sort of little imperfections. There were a few little holes in here that I filled just with some epoxy. edges just roughly just to get the excess fiberglass off I'll have to go over it with a, a finer grit uh, later I'm gonna actually put some fiberglass around the edges um, later as well so that'll have to be done but right now we're gonna flip this thing over <laughs> it's too heavy with the lead my lovely assistant will help me thank you lovely assistant um, now we got to do this virgin side. It's all done on this side now. Uh, hopefully good enough. Double layers of uh, epoxy and fiberglass on both sides of the center board. You can only go up to the edge, so the edge is like uh, unprotected. And uh, I thought what I might do, oh, I thought what I might do is uh, put some uh, fiberglass over the edge, so there's a nice overlap. Now fiberglass doesn't really like going around corners, so it's going to be a real pain in the ass to get it around. But I had an idea. I thought that if I get some um, baking paper, so I put the fiberglass. Put the epoxy on. I'll put the epoxy on. Then I'll put a strip of fiberglass on it as well. Um, and then I'll put some baking paper. And then I'll get some tape. And I'll just like tape it down so it's like held hard against the wood. Um, and I think that might work. I'm going to try it anyway. So I'm going to find some tape somewhere, some gaffer tape or something. Uh, and give that a go. So yeah. Fiberglass strips. On the leading edge in the bottom, it goes around the curve pretty good. But on the trailing edge, it almost, almost not quite. I don't know how that's going to work. Maybe it's going to make things worse. But uh, I guess uh, we'll just have to leave it and see. Needs to be sanded down, of course, but yeah, definitely quite nice around the curve. This is all sanded down. There are little gaps here, though, where things weren't quite smooth. And I thought, well, I could just epoxy over it and it'd be fine, but maybe I should try and put little bits of um, filler in there and just see if I can get it reasonably smooth. So I got this graphite. Um, 
I'm gonna put it in some epoxy, and uh, it should go black, and it should be lubricating. So the surface should be nice and smooth. Maybe I shouldn't have. I don't know. I mean, it's real sparkly and nice, but it doesn't look very good right now. And I was kind of planning on seeing if I could fill in all the tiny little divots and get it like real nice and smooth. But I guess I'm not doing that anymore because I didn't and it's probably a bit late now. I don't know. So what do you got there? Dorsal fin. I thought we've got all these tiny little holes and I didn't give a fuck about them yesterday but I've started to give a fuck about them again. Like... I don't know how much it will degrade performance, but it will activate my OCD. What we're going to do is uh, sand this down a little bit and then uh, mix up another batch of epoxy with the graphite, but like um, mix that with the filling powder to just put in all the gaps we can see. So the icing is dry now. It's kind of slippery. I don't know if that's because of the graphite or whatever, but hopefully it's filled in all the little divots. Got this fancy little thing. Just a really cheap little <coughs> orbital sander. Just to take a bit of the work out of sanding this down nicely. Because I don't want to use the belt sander because it's too powerful. But uh, I don't want to do it by hand, because it's too much of a pain in the ass, so... And uh, everything's a lot smoother than it was. It's still not 100% perfect, and I think I might have gone a little bit too far in some places and gone down to the fiberglass, but hopefully it's not uh, damaged. So... Everything, hopefully, is nice and smooth. You can see on the other side as well. It's a lot smoother. And hopefully pretty good. rotation point. I mean there is a little bit of uh, roughness on the surface. Ten little dots of probably dust. But it's real nice. Put some masking tape along the edge on the finished side so that uh, when we turn it over and uh, paint epoxy on the other side hopefully it, the drips won't sort of form on this edge and then we'd have to sand them down again.